I missed something. Someone popped up behind him on the stream. I was just, you know, doing this to him. I was trying to envision Olaf with bunny ears. It wasn't hard. <laughs> uh, perhaps if we make it around to Halloween next year, Olaf will get a bunny suit. I but sure somehow, you. if this campaign is still going on by Halloween next year, it will not be me GMing because I will have killed myself. <laughs> We're not that bad. I know, no, no. I know that there's a curse on Rise of the Rune Lords, but if I'm still doing this 11 months later, there is something very wrong with this campaign. Or it's the best six month, A six month hiatus as you top, put your computer into the. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, of course. For, for repairs. But that's why I have three tablets for whenever the computer fails. Just wish us to have to do the whole thing again. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> Uh, I'm okay with lust. Sorry. Yeah. We sidetracked. Let's, let's go try there. to look for some toys. Okay. You go down the uh, the iron cages, and the uh, alu demons are all out prancing around playing with their stone giant toys. None of them really seem to care when you guys enter the halls. Was was Delva Delvaheim was the name of the the succubi? Yes. So uh, let's. Go towards her personal living quarters. See if they stop us. Okay. No one stops you. Let's uh, search around her personal living quarters. Okay. You find we have numerous... We what we're looking for, but... In between the pillows and the, uh, the incense, which reminds me everyone will need to make a will save when you enter that room. Uh, I'm going to plug my nose like I did the last time we came in. Is you it too still late? need to breathe. Oh, okay. Oxygen. We still have Heroes Feast up, right? Correct. Which is plus nine versus poison, delay poison, plus four versus fear, plus five versus disease. I'm pretty sure most of that stuff on mine comes from the Heroes Feast. And the other buffs we all have. Also, I know the plus nine versus poison also comes from the alchemical anti-poison that I currently have. We all have anti-poison and anti-toxin up as well. Anti-toxin and anti-plague up as well. Uh, at least I assume it's been less than an hour since we left the thingy. Sure. Well, Heroes Feast is like 12 hours, isn't it? Or oh, yeah, 24? Heroes Feast lasts a long time. I, I'm just pretty sure that those those numbers I have on my saves include the antitoxin and the anti-plague. Um, Mine don't include I any. thought when we used them in conjunction with Heroes Feast, they lasted the same 24 hours. Yeah, oh, you're right. For the, for the, for the antitoxin that was used, you're right, but not for the anti-plague, I believe. Yes, that so is just, correct. So you know, we'll save from Xavier, I think. Um... Is it? Uh, I'll roll. Uh, I don't think it's anywhere close to failing. It's a DC 17. Uh. Okay, so in between the sheets and the pillows and all the various things here, you do find numerous implements of uh, pain or pleasure. So would would I, from having that that massive flashes in my head, recognize it when I see it at least? Sure, pretty much anything in this room. Any of them we can take, yeah. Ah, oh, okay, it's not a specific one, it just has to be one of them. Okay. Indeed. Still take the most personal one that we can find. Do you have wait, a Do you have wait. a preference? That's like what that translates to. What's stopping us from making a weapon for each of us? There you go. Now you're talking. I was going to bring that exact same thing up. Nothing's stopping you. Okay. Make a crap load of them, then. And, and and here's here's something to consider. Do we all want to have transmutation ones? Or do we want to have different ones? Uh, We're going after the Rune Lord of Transmutation, right? Yes. yes. I want a transmutation one. That's, that's me personally, but... I definitely want a transmutation one, but... Okay, what is it? It says you can't have... Is there anything from stopping us from having more than one Rune Lord weapon? We can present, we can Oh, if you carry two of them at the same time, you take a minus five penalty on everything. Oh, okay. And yeah, so I'm we, guessing we these are officially artifacts that carrying would even include having in your handy haversack. Would still count as carrying? Yes. That's what I assume. Okay. So yeah, I think I want transmutation. Sounds like we're good. Okay. 
So we grab two or four of her stone giant toys. Uh, grab eight. Let's have let's have extras. So, I want to be clear. When I said stone giant toys, I was talking about mind enslaved stone giants, actual physical stone giants. Aren't you straight laced? Yeah, right. Really? <laughs> Oh, the stone giants look like they're enjoying it. No, nope, they look kind of like uh, any basic sense motive check would tell you. They look like people who are dominated. That's sad. Should we do something about it? They live only to fulfill their purpose. Which is to make us an awesome weapon to kill the big bad. I don't think so. I mean, you guys are just basically running around picking up dildos and stuff. Uh, so my character is fine with. Uh, I don't have any particular love for stone giants. I don't have any hatred. I'm willing to. I'm willing to free them. I'm willing to not. <clears throat> I, I'm not particularly okay with us dragging around dominated stone giants. Well, no. I think if we kill the Alu, I think we kill the Alu demons. They become undominated and can go home. I'm quite sure Olaf has no idea how to do that. Go home. Do they have a home? What do you guys want to do? Well, for one thing, they've been in here for 10,000 years. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> for the second thing, you guys don't even know how to get out of here. Yeah, also we true. haven't worked. Yeah, okay, fair enough. We haven't bent our massive amount of collective will and might against that particular task yet. I see. But once we do... Out of all the people you've met, not a single one of your questions were, how do we leave? <laughs> also true. <laughs> you guys Oops. just assume it's going to happen, which is the best part. Well, I figure, there's, I figure one or two things is going to happen. We're going to die. Oh, sorry, one of three things. We're going to die. Yeah. We're going to find a way out of here. Or we will still be playing this by next November. By, by next <laughs> Halloween. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a lot of sucky by adventures if we're doing this till next November. The Runeforge trials. How one party was locked in the Runeforge. Forever. So I do have access to plane shift. So I've just been assuming worst comes to worst, we plane shift to the plane of plane of not here and plane shift back. I've heard that shifting to random planes is usually a great idea. It never ends poorly. I'm. I was sorry. The player. That was the level of attention the player has currently given to the issue. Not how much. Not where we would shift to. <laughs> it's on shuffle mode. <laughs> I, I do have knowledge planes trained. I. I actually know a fair bit at character level. I know a fair bit about the planes. I must admit, at the player level, I have zero interest in every single edition and version of D and D coming up for different planar cosmology, and I just don't care. So I have no idea to play them. I want to go to Phrasmus Boneyard. Uh, I want to go there eventually, but not for quite a few years. <laughs> so, are we? Have we? Have we decided that we're taking a stone giant with us? Is that what we settled on? <laughs> Why? Oh. No, the, the question was whether or not we got rid of all of her minions who are harassing the, the stone giants. You say minions, she says daughters. So, uh, right now, so uh, my character won't oppose anybody else, but as far as I'm concerned, the succubi has behaved honorably to us, and doing so would be a betrayal. <laughs> so I'm not... I go, she has! Oh, words you do not often hear. Um... My count is a bit strange in some respects, I agree. <laughs> Let, let's also go with some other words you don't often hear. Let's just take the dildos and leave. <laughs> oh, man. You know, that doesn't sound that unusual to me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a night of nights. Yeah, yeah we, we've really got too far down the glory hole. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope I hope you go to Mark's really? tonight's scenario is PG-14 at least. Rise of the Rune Lords is explicitly, like, this whole level is pretty weird. I want to be very clear. They wrote into the entire adventure path that defeating the final boss of all things requires picking up dildos. So <laughs> someone... At Paizo has a very weird sense of humor. 
Now, come on. Now, did they actually use the word dildo in the book, or did they just use the, the, uh, the uh, sex toys? Personal, personal toys. Personal toys. Yes, okay. There you go. Nah. Nah. Well, actually, that's... That's actually not a bad idea. So if you're running, if if an eleven year old is running it for their friends, they may may not recognize what they're talking about. Sure, yeah, it's like little dinosaurs, right? It might be it might be nipple clamps instead of dildos. <laughs> sure. 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 Yeah, you, yeah, to, tone it down to PG nipple clamps. Yeah, and and certainly if I was running it, like if I was running it with a group that included children, I would just make it personal toys. I would not run Rise of the Rune Lords for children ever. No. there's like no, scary no. shit in this. There's yeah, an mass- insane asylum run by a necromancer earlier in it. I mean... Right, you're going to have kids that won't pick up scarves for the rest of their <laughs> lives, that are scared of bathtubs, that think everybody that wears a hat <laughs> is going to sure murder them <laughs> with a shiv under their sleeve. <laughs> What's the scarf? Well, you can't, you, we all know you can't trust people in hats. What? Yeah, we all know that. No, hats are great. <laughs> Haters. All right, um, from Xavier's <laughs> point of view... Killing devils and demons just sends them home rather than where dead things should go. So he's in no particular hurry to kill these. And the stone giants, he'd probably want to kill them because they're too old. They are quite old. And if I recall correctly, we know that people who've been here a very long time turn to dust when they leave. Am I making that up or did we actually actually find that out somewhere? Well... Delvaheen said that. Okay. That's all I'll... Okay. Sorry. So, yes, we were told that, at least. Fair enough. Yeah, and from some people, I never lie. I asked you guys to make a couple <laughs> sense motive checks, but you declined against her 36 bluff, so... Yeah. <laughs> Olaf felt like she was just telling the truth. He didn't, didn't need to... She's so convincing. I'm worried about it. Yeah. Damn, I should have too. My... I should have brought my bard in. He could be the plus thirty six stealth, uh, plus thirty six sense uh, bluff, no problems. Succubus bard is pretty good, but uh, all you need to do is slap on the vampire template there for another charisma boost. Uh, so, uh, as stated earlier, we can we can leave now that we have all right set so toys. You leave. The demons and devils go back to frolicking and playing and. The stone giants just stand around, do whatever they say. You guys don't feel any morally different when you leave. It's not weird. Uh, should we try to go find our pride? <laughs> that, was a, that was a strange way of saying that. So it's pride day is what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. Zaxis? If it's full of lions, I'm going home. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, first off, lions are the greatest singers in existence. And second <laughs> off, Scar is my homie. That's like the soundtrack to my life is Be Prepared. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is the guy who clones himself. We're going to have to kill him at least seven times. What? Uh, there should only uh, be one of them, six, right? The first six put into will be clones. So I, I'm but guessing at least one of us has knowledge about the spell clone and how it works. Sure, Drin probably intrinsically understands it with his spellcraft and his knowledge arcana. Um, should I make some rolls here? You can, but I'm pretty sure you... Um, what is my spellcraft? No, apparently your knowledge arcana sucks. You know that clone is a spell that involves cloning someone. And that brings up a question that I would like to ask about Star Wars. You know that cloning exists, <laughs> and you know that shapeshifters exist from Episode 1, so why didn't they just clone shapeshifters, and then they would have a pretty much invincible army of whoever the hell they wanted? Because uh, shapeshifters realize... have unstable DNA. Okay, That makes so sense. That, that pales into significance on the stupidity of the Jedi. You have been the Jedi, the good Jedi have been ruling the galaxy for millennia, and they don't figure that bringing balance to the Force is a bad thing? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dumb. So, uh, that's a 32 knowledge arcana. Yep, you guys understand how cloning works. You leave a body preserved behind, and when you die, you re-enter that body immediately. 
with some uh, penalty. It's like Raise Dead for wizards. If wizards are super smart people who plan ahead for their own death, which they are. So in theory we shouldn't run into two at once, we just keep running in succession to the same one. But these guys are sufficiently powerful that I suspect they may break the rules. There's also, uh, would my, I presume with that knowledge my character would also know about the Simulacrum spell? Sure. You know about Simulacrum. It involves well, also using snow thing. to make people. Yep. Kind of like Elsa. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Good, good song, good song. And it's not weird at all that she created intelligent life and they never went back and questioned it after. Nope. Not at all. Nobody cares. She built two giant, one giant and one tiny one, and nobody cares. <laughs> nope, nobody are, at all. What are you talking about now? Frozen. <laughs> We're talking about Frozen. Frozen, the movie that I've watched like eight times a week since like a month ago because my daughter is absolutely in love with it. Good. Your daughter Jeez. has amazing and excellent taste. Frozen is amazing. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so your references are going over my head. I read for Kirsten Bell right there. I mean,. It's a good movie, but oh, I've seen it so many times. There is a site called Unnecessarily Edited Films where they <laughs> go in and bleep out perfectly innocent dialogue <laughs> in films to make it sound really dirty. And what they did with Frozen will scar your child for life. So, yeah, uh, I've seen it. It's pretty good. That reminds me. I forget what channel it was that used to do it. Maybe it was FX. But instead of bleeping content out, they would just cut ahead to whatever the next scene was. And I think it was Saturday Night Live that did a skit for The Sopranos where they cut out all the curse words by switching ahead. And they were going like every scene was nothing but flash cuts of people moving around because they were cursing constantly. Also the word gabagool. <laughs> Man, that's a dated reference. No one watches The Sopranos now, anyway. Mm. So I think um, I'm I'm apparently overhealed. Is this a an older copy of Olaf? I'm guessing. Probably. I'll go grab your current copies. That makes more sense. Or did I just not take any damage at all? No, I grabbed this? your copies that were in the. Uh... Oh, I'm lost. We should be pretty healed up, though. I thought we in used we, we blew some stuff. I, I think I, I was full. Ones. Yeah, I think I was fully healed by the end of the session, but I Oh, we still have some you, you might still have some temporary hit points left. Yeah, that's what I'm asking cuz I do have temporary yeah. hit points on this one. I'm just not sure whether they're right or not. There we go. Here are your real currently updated tokens. Okay. And I think the acid damage is all done. Yeah. We ran out the clock on that acid damage. How do you put that marker? How do you put a number on the marker like that? So instead of clicking it, you just push a number in on your number key. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, that's okay. That makes sense. Pretty handy, huh? Yeah, we uh, yep, yep. <clears throat> so, uh, lots of illusions. Um, do we have anything to resist illusions? That's how I was looking. I don't. I don't have much prepared, and strangely enough, my, my saves, aside from Reflex, are way behind the rest of yours, it seems. So my will save is not very great. I have a lot of luck bonuses to mine. Well, when I'm raging. My will save, yeah. My will save is way ahead of the rest. It's wisdom-based. It's, it's my base save. It's wisdom-based. Anyway, so uh, I'm, I suspect I'm very susceptible to illusions. I have a plus two misc from something. I have no idea where I've been. By the way, uh, if there's a bug in Hero Lab, there's about a 30% chance I've noticed it and corrected for it. So uh, any errors in my character sheet are probably mostly from Hero Lab. It's my store, and I'm sticking to it, too. Like, as I say, I have no clue offhand with that misc bonus of my saving throw comes from. Alright, so, um... Are they listing your Cloak of Resistance there? No, Cloak of Resistance is under Resistance. Okay. It's probably legitimate from somewhere, but 
It usually, I mean, usually after I spend an hour looking, I find it. So we don't have any applicable buffs. Any more applicable buffs. I can dole out um, potions of heroism, but on top of the Heroes Feast, they won't do much. Yeah. I do have Heroes Feast going. That's good, right? Yeah. Also, oh. I realized going through my character sheet that when we fought, our dragon friend came back. I have one arrow of greater dragon slaying that I didn't use. <laughs> I noticed that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when I stood up and drew my sword, I should have stood up and drawn my bow and then watched it die. But anyway. That doesn't work as well as you might think because of the save, but it's still good. That would explain why my hero lab was making no sense to me whatsoever. I had it up for the wrong character. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Dren, you're going to do your message network and sneak ahead? Yep. Okay. Uh, give me a second here. I will tell you what it is you see, Dren. <clears throat> this brightly lit corridor is lined with floor-to-ceiling mirrors. The reflections give the dizzying impression that the corridor opens up each side, extending infinitely into the distance. Can you make a perception check real quick, Drin? Drin? <laughs> okay, so you look into one of the mirrors, and uh, you see yourself being reflected kind of infinitely through all these mirrors facing each other. And then you see yourself step out of one of the mirrors and step out of another mirror. Wait a second. Drin can see himself when he's sneaking? Right. Just fight the only one that we can see. Because the other one's hiding. That makes sense as to why I asked you guys for your character sheets in a few moments here. <laughs> uh, where's your initiative modifier on this? Oh, you have a plus 15. That's nice. Yeah, it's much nicer when you roll better than a 5. Hmm. Beats my 1. I think we're missing somebody. Yeah, your 1's not on the turn order for some reason. Yeah, I'll Grab Savior, 12.9. All right, what would Drin do? Well, let's look over his amazing list of things right here. So I'm guessing Drin's own Drinlings can't actually see him at the moment. You're stealthed, right? I would be. You didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make a roll, but yes, of course I would be. Okay, go ahead and make a roll. Okay, your Drinlings are equally stealthed. I mean, you see them step out of this mirror and then basically fade from existence. <laughs> okay, Drin, you know, you saw these people step out of a mirror and now you have no idea what's happening. Um, what options do I have? Kill yourself and see what happens. Sorry. Hit yourself and see what happens. <laughs> Sorry, being silly. So we know that we're stepping into this area dedicated to illusion. Would it be, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, given all your preparations, Arthur, I'm assuming they're not really illusions, but it seems like I would sort of expect them just to be illusions. Okay. You can certainly take that stance. 
Is this where I say I disbelieve and make a will save? Sure. If you want to observe the mirrors closely and, and try to make a will save to disbelieve what's happening. Um, I'm assuming, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I'm expecting, I'm anticipating seeing illusions. Um, I, I expect that seeing two of myself come my way is probably not real. So I'm going to shake my head and try not to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's not right, happening. You look around and you're just like, I don't know what's happening. Yep. Am I losing my mind? And you see yourself reflected in all these mirrors once more after you, you've stepped out of them. You know, now everything's back to normal. Mm hmm So what would you like to do? Oh, uh, that, that doesn't take a significant amount of time? Nope. Have you been um, telling us what's going on for the message spell? Uh, I wouldn't think so yet. I don't know what's going on okay. yet. Fair enough. Uh, I think I am going to step back to the group and I will vocalize uh, the confusion <laughs> uh, okay. that uh, I became aware of. And uh, I think that's the end of my turn for now. Yeah, we'll go back out of combat order then. Just sleeping it up so, for no apparent reason. Just to remind you, Mr. GM, I do have uh, C Invisible on. Yeah, that's fine. I know, I just... They'd have to be using the spell Invisibility, which Drin isn't. I, I just thought I'd mention it. Okay. In case they decided to cast any additional spells on themselves. Okay. Those illusions that he successfully disbelieved. <clears throat> does that 57 stealth do you take a minus from Hellcat stealth or is that just like always um no I would normally I mean it depends on how you play it like if I'm if I'm starting from here and I've got cover and as part of my first move I'm leaving cover then I don't take a penalty um kind of, if I'm standing here and I'm just trying to hide at the beginning of my turn then I would take a minus 10 for, for stealth uh for Hellcats okay I'm just thinking, I'm wondering what, if these guys, because if, if you just ran into a double mirror of opposition, which is the other thing it sounds like you just happened, um, then we've got two, almost, we've got two very, very highly stealth Drin sneaking towards us. Yes, that's entirely possible. Uh, uh, and it, but if there's a minus 10, I actually have a chance of seeing them. Yeah. It, Not a good chance, but a chance. That's not very much fun for any of us. Uh, Alright, well, Olaf doesn't know anything about spells, so he's going to defer to our casters. So, if I'm right, and those are mirror of some kind of twink mirrors of our position, um, would I have any clue how mirrors of our position work? You could make a spellcraft check. I think knowledge or kind of would probably be more appropriate. Oh, okay. Their spellcraft. Sure. You know that uh, when you look into a mirror of opposition, a copy of yourself comes out to kill you. What happens? And uh, but while that copy's out, what happens if somebody else looks into a mirror of opposition? Does it does it keep spawning copies, or is yes. it one copy? It spawns up to four copies a day. And what happens when you stop looking in the mirror? Does your copy go away? No. Copy still tries to kill you. So we should destroy every fucking mirror we see before looking into it from now on. Sounds like a plan. So can you can again, you actually can you act the halls here are all lined with mirrors. Every single open space are mirrors right now. You guys are looking at dozens and dozens of mirrors. Okay, let's start smashing them. Okay. Trina, are you smashing mirrors as well? Um not yet. I was looking to see whether I could get a big effect with something like Shatter, but I think that's probably just one mirror at a time, huh? Isn't it Shatter? Oh no, Shout's the AoE one. Shout would be pretty good. Well, it, it seems like with your knowledge, we should expect two copies of Drin to come blasting us with powered, enchanced, fire thingy majiggers. So, uh, it seems like uh, we've probably got some pain coming.